Uh, it's kind of a unique day in that its co-hosts are kind of running the show here today, too, because in the first hour, we've got uh, Jonathan Bondwell also co-hosting the program today, and uh, Michelle Terwilliger, who's uh, here as well. Good morning to both of you, too. Good morning. Good morning, Rob. How Thanks are you? coming in. It's uh, Medicare open enrollment season, the cusp of, and uh, last year we banged out a full hour on this. Make sure you get all the good information out there. JB, always a pleasure. It's uh, it's great to see you, and it's uh, so, so we're going to sort of have the inmates running the asylum today. As always, Mr. Hornby would have it, or Hornsby, as many people call him, would have it no other way. <laughs> that was Bruce would, Hornsby, what? Or would that be <laughs> Rogers? Or would that be Rogers Hornsby? <laughs> Rogers Hornsby, Tris Speaker, Stan Musial, bring them all out of the take her to Evers to Chance. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're going back. At hey, you. we can we we've got some baseball historians here. Yeah. We can we can pull it out. Keep rolling, Michelle. You want to contribute anything? I know nothing about baseball. <laughs> You'll fit right oh, into the you Scots. Hey, you do yeah, know that there's no crying in baseball, though. That's true. Yeah. We give their own. And the hot dogs are the best. Yeah. You like ballpark, Franks? I do. I'm a Hebrew national guy myself. <laughs> <laughs> they answer to a higher authority. He's seen the commercial. That's true. There truly is nothing, uh, nothing better than, uh, than a ballpark, ballpark Frank. And if you're going to get one, you got to go to Texas because everything is bigger. The Texas Rangers have one called the Boomstick. It's a two-foot-long hot dog <laughs> in, in a bun covered in everything. Does Joey Chili. Chestnut sit down and eat it with you? I don't know. Uh, you, you can <laughs> typically divide it amongst probably four of you if you, you know, take four, you know, three friends and the four of you can just go, hey, get one Boomstick and cut it up. Like Lady and the Tramp in the spaghetti. Yeah, you yeah, there you opposite go. Opposite ends and you meet your date <laughs> meet in the middle. middle. <laughs> meet in the middle. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Speak, speaking of baseball, are the Orioles going to win it all? Or are they going to win the World Series? I like their team, man. I hope not because the way it plays out, Major League Baseball playoffs begin today, and the first game on the docket is the Texas Rangers at the Tampa Bay Rays. And the winner of that series um, will likely end up being the one, especially if it's Texas, will be the one that would play the Orioles. And so I'd love to see the Rangers and the Orioles at Camden Yards and maybe a chance to go see a little bit of the division series. Dylan just saddled up here. His favorite baseball team is in the playoffs. Dylan, good morning to you. You know, I really want to believe in the Orioles, but the bullpen <laughs> is just not good anymore with uh, with Felix Batista out, out for the season. But uh, hopefully they can make it through. But, uh, Matt, what happened? The Rangers seemed like they could have had the division locked up now that they're the wild card team instead. Well, and I, we're in the same boat as you. The bullpen has just been uh, abysmal at times this season, and so several times they've gone into the eighth or ninth inning with a lead, ended up coughing up that lead, and ultimately they cough up the division on the last day. All I know is Major League Baseball's offices are in a severe panic. The Red Sox and Yankees aren't in the World Series. ESPN <laughs> doesn't know what to do with themselves. <laughs> they have no idea how to cover baseball unless it's the Red Sox or the Yankees. So they're going to concentrate on the NBA. Well, Baseball has, a fi has to find a way to, to get Mike Trout and uh, what's his name, the, the pitcher for the Angels. Mike Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani. Yeah. need to find a way to get them onto a team that's going to win and make the playoffs. Because it's, uh, I mean, they just, they languish. Nobody sees them on the East Coast. And, I mean, we see, we see the highlights. That's about it. And I didn't get the memo. Everybody else has a light blue shirt on today. Thanks, thanks Rob, for not sharing it with me and sharing it mm -hmm. with Michelle. We're oh, doing blue for Bodwell. Oh, I know what happened. Um, I <laughs> sent it, but apparently the bus you were behind jammed the message. And you couldn't <laughs> get it. Oh, what a shame. If you had just left a little earlier, uh, you wouldn't have been behind that bus. The darn guess. jamming software on yeah, the Yeah, what are you going to do? You know, eh, the next cloak, time. Yeah, the, the cloak of, what is it? The cloak cloaking of, device. Yeah. Cloaking device, yeah. yes. Hey, uh, Medicare open enrollment season begins when? Uh, well, right now, October 1st is the day we can start talking about the new plans for the new year by law. Mm -hmm. And October 15th through December 7th is the period of time when people can enroll in plans, change their plans, and do everything. And it really becomes a frenzy. And every year, every year, the plans change radically. Medicare changes the rules. The plans change. And the companies bounce there. Uh, there are a lot of big companies involved in Medicare. Um, Aetna, CVS is number four on the Fortune 500. United Healthcare is number five. Humana is in the top 50. Blue Cross is right there. They change their plans every year. They compete against each other. And truly, if you aren't looking at your plans year over year, if you aren't having it analyzed, you could be missing out on a lot of benefits, and you also could end up paying a lot more because different plans, especially on the drug side, pay some pay better for different drugs. 
they don't all have the same drug formulary. So it's it's really, really important to have somebody look at it every year. Let me start with the basics here. First and foremost, uh, what age do you need to sign up for Medicare and who needs to sign up for Medicare? You need to sign up for Medicare about three to four months before you turn 65. There are some exceptions. People who are on federal disability and have been on federal disability for more than two years, more than 24 months, qualify for Medicare early. But in general, when you turn 65, you go on Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B. Unless you are, um, unless you're still employed and you have a group plan. And there are rules to that, too. If you're on a group plan, it has to be a company with more than 20 employees or it's not considered credible coverage. Okay. Once you're 65, you can't have an individual health plan or it's not considered credible coverage. You can't be on a Christian cost sharing plan after the age of 65, it's not credible coverage. COBRA after the age of 65 is not credible coverage. And what happens then is when you do go on Medicare Part B and a Medicare drug plan, you end up with penalties if you have not had uh, credible coverage consecutively from the time you turn 65. So this is interesting. So, so Matt is on a Christian sharing plan, mm -hmm. and at 65, he's not allowed to use that anymore? He has to go on Medicare? Um, well, I mean, he's going to want to go on Medicare because he's been paying for it every time he got a paycheck. Every time he got a paycheck, they took Medicare Part A. You know where it says right. federal tax, Social Security, Medicare. Every time you get paid, they're taking out for your Medicare Part A. Medicare Part A is, is hospitalization coverage. Uh, currently, there's a $1,600 deductible with Medicare. Every time you are hospitalized, the first day, there's a $1,600. And there are some exceptions, but there's a $1,600 deductible the first day. could happen five times in a year with Part A. Medicare Part B is what you pay for now when you go on Medicare. Uh, currently, the premium is $164.90 a month for seniors. Medicare Part B is anything that occurs when you are not hospitalized, emergency care, chemotherapy, doctor visits, MRIs, anything when you are not a hospitalized patient. Um, it's got a $226 deductible this year, and after that is an 80-20 health plan. And there is no maximum out-of-pocket to it. There is no cap. And that is why people come to us, uh, because you need something next to it. You've got to have a Medicare supplement plan or a Medicare Advantage plan, or you could be leaving yourself open to, to really catastrophic medical bills. Um, one, one thing I like to tell people all the time is, you know, whether you get a plan from someone like us or you get a plan from Joe Namath or Jimmy Walker on TV or you go directly to the insurance company or you go to a website or an 800 number, you get the exact same plan at the exact same cost with us as you do with any of those things. But when you come and you use a local agent, A, I'm there. You have a question. You have a problem. You have a concern. You have an agent. And the next year, when it comes time to review your plan and make sure it's still right for you in the best plan, you have somebody to review it. Whereas with a call center, you could call in and, you know, you're obviously never going to get the same person, but you could get somebody you don't understand. You mean Jimmy Walker doesn't answer the phone? Well, Jimmy used to, but, you know. <laughs> but you get somebody. I'm really hoping to talk to Jimmy Walker. And I think a lot of people are. I used to watch Good Times when I was a kid. Anytime you miss a payment, good time. <laughs> yes, yes, great show. Easy credit ripoffs. Good, good time. times. Yes, <laughs> one of the greatest shows. Yeah. Um, but no, but if 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 you don't have a local agent, and whether it's us or somebody else, just there there are plenty of good local agents. You want to have a local agent for your Medicare because there are so many moving parts. Just like people, they have a financial advisor, they have an insurance agent who does their their property and casualty insurance. You need to have a professional on your side. I mean, I, I like to say I don't change my own oil because I, I don't really know how to, and I'm afraid I won't put the little plug thing back in and my engine will blow out. Everyone knows their job. Like Rob. Rob is, is the best I've ever seen in this radio game. He's, Everyone, he's seen a lot, too. And I've seen a... He's <laughs> seen me and... Uh, I saw. Oh, he's seen me. Well, no, no, no. I saw Hornby back there running the <laughs> oh, board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> there you go. So that's, that's, that's my comparison. Right yes, there. yes. Um, no, and Hornby did a fine he job. He was awesome. He was the best. He was great. I'm looking for a raise, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, question. I, if I go on early Social Security at the age of 62, can I also get Medicare at 62? 
No, you cannot, unless you are on disability and have been on disability for more than 24 months. Where do I go to sign up for Medicare when I'm close to 65? You would go to socialsecurity.gov if you have a social security account and you want to check the button to apply for Medicare, or if you're applying for both at that time, it'll allow you to apply for Medicare and Social Security. If um, Or you can call 1-800-SOCIAL-SECURITY. I recommend don't, a, I, don't. Well, I, I, rec- I, I recommend a movie, <laughs> and, and not a regular movie. I recommend, I recommend Braveheart because it's almost three hours long. Um, you pick out some stuff you want to watch because you will hold forever. Try to get in touch with your local Social Security office. If you want to if you want to do it directly through them and not online, get an appointment with your local security, Social Security office, which here would be in, in Martinsburg off Edwin Miller Boulevard, and they can get you taken care of. And then once you have a Medicare card, you, you call someone like us. You, you call us, 304-283-0864, BodwellInsuranceSolutions.com, also on Facebook. And we come out. Um, if you're just getting ready to go on Medicare, you can give us a call, and we can walk you through all of the steps necessary to apply for Medicare, to get set up with Medicare, and then we sit down with you. We go through your doctors. We go through your medications. We go through everything under the sun, and we help you We help you pick out whatever the proper Medicare plan is for you. I imagine this is all very confusing the first time you go to that Social Security website and you're trying to sign up for Medicare the first time, uh, especially with all the different parts there are to Medicare, A, B, C, D, E. Uh, this is a lot to have to select from. Can we go through the different parts of Medicare so we understand what part is what? Most definitely. Well, Part A is, uh, is hospitalization. Like I was saying before, anything that occurs in the hospital. One of the best things about that is when you're hospitalized with an under 65 or a regular, like a group health plan, you get hospitalized, you get a bill from the doctor, the surgeon, the anesthesiologist, the person who swept the floors, the parking lot attendant, the person who, who, made, the, who, who made the hot dogs downstairs. You get, you get like 10 different bills, and you get so many bills from places you've never heard of, and then you call them and they say, oh, well, we're contracted with, with Berkeley Medical Center to do this and this and this. With Medicare, it doesn't work like that. They bill Medicare or they bill your Medicare Advantage plan, and there's one billing. It makes it, it makes it a lot easier in the federal government or the insurance company. They figure it out. You don't have to. Um, and the great thing about Medicare is once you've paid that, either paid that Part A deductible for the $1,600, say you go in on a Monday. You have, you have, you're there on a Monday. They watch you. They're looking at you. They're figuring everything out. Tuesday, you have a million-dollar operation. All you are paying is that $1,600. Or if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you're probably paying a copay of a couple hundred bucks a day for the first few days. And that's all you're paying. Or if you have a Medicare Supplement plan, you are paying nothing because the Medicare Supplement plan, either Plan F or Plan G, is covering all of that, and you're paying zero. You could have millions of dollars worth of medical care and not have a penny out of pocket, um, which is uh, which is nice. All right, so that, you went through A. Did you already hit B? I'm hitting B a little bit more now. Medicare Part B. B, is, B can be a little scary because B covers everything that's not hospitalization. Chemotherapy is under everything but, but drug coverage. Part, uh, Part B covers chemotherapy. Part B covers infusions that are given at a doctor's office. Part B is you get MRIs. That's Part B. Doctors, uh, blood specialists, that is all Medicare Part B. Now, Medicare, and a lot of people don't know this, Medicare does not cover anything outside of the country except very small things along the border. And who wants to be along a border these days? I mean, with what we got in the north with all the fires in the south, I mean, nobody wants to be near a border these days. But in order to have coverage outside of the country, you have to have a Medicare supplement plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. And both of them cover, both of them cover outside, cover you outside of the country if you take a cruise or do something, which a lot of seniors do. A lot of people like to travel. Um, The next part that I want to talk about is what is called Medicare Part D. Um, The government named that, well, it's D for drugs. Uh, If you do not get a drug plan or have credible drug coverage uh, when you retire or when you you turn 65, you will pay penalties when you get Part D. 
uh, the Medicare penalties are equal to 1% of the average drug plan in America times the amount of months you did not have a drug plan, which I think the average drug plan has gone up to about $50. I believe that's what they're saying, the average drug plan month? this year. A month. Uh, Medicare drug plans uh, have really gone up. Uh, the individual drug plans are going up. They're covering less. They're not covering as well. There was some legislation passed uh, last year that put a cap as of 2025, a cap of $2,500 on uh, the amount of out-of-pocket spending seniors will have for uh, drugs beginning in 2025. And uh, so the, uh, the insurance carriers are going to have to raise the rates a lot because currently there is no cap. Uh, there's what's called the donut hole or the coverage gap. Um, coming up for 2024, when your drug costs hit hit $5,030 for the year, and when I say drug costs, I mean your cost plus the insurance company's cost, when that hits $5,030, you go into what is called the donut hole. Now, before the donut hole, you have co-pays with your Medicare drug plan. Generally, you don't pay for generics, so you pay very little for generics. You pay a little bit more for the preferred brand drugs, and then your higher-level brand drugs, the newer drugs, you pay you know, 25 30% for. Once you go into the donut hole, you pay 25% for everything, and you pay that up to $8,000. And at $8,000 in spending, you come out of the donut hole, and then for this coming year, which is brand new, you have no cost sharing coming out of the donut hole. The government just changed that rule. In the past, you still had to pay small co-pays even after paying the $8,000. But now, as of 2024, you will not have to, which, which is nice. But then in 2025, at $2,500, you are not going to have to pay anything. And it's really going to skew everything. I think the, the cost of the individual drug plans are going to go through the roof. I know we have a lot of seniors in our audience. And uh, those of you who have parents who are seniors who are in our audience, you may have some questions too. Feel free to post those on our Facebook page. If you're not uh, currently logged into Facebook, just look up TV10 uh, Martinsburg on Facebook, and you can uh, join the chat room there and put your question on there. As we get to the second half hour of the program, we'll be hitting some of those questions. Uh, Matt Miller. I want to go back to the sign up three to four months before 65. Is there some sort of a penalty if you don't, or what is the big reason for getting that head start, if you will? Well, the government is the government. It takes them a little bit of time. They give you that window so you're not rushing because it can take four to six weeks from the time you apply until you get your Medicare card. Now, we have a workaround around that. If somebody has applied, we can call into Medicare about 10 days to two weeks after they've applied, and we can get their Medicare number for them, and we can help them apply for a plan at that point. Um, it's, just, it's just so important to do it early just because it takes the pressure off it. Mm -hmm. If you do not, if you don't have credible coverage and you, and you do not sign up for Part B and say you go a couple of years without Part B, you are going to end up with a 10% penalty a month. At 24 months, you're going to end up with a 10% penalty per month forever on your Part B premium. In addition to that, you're going to have the, the penalty on the Part D, the drug premium, the, the drug penalty. I had a woman a couple of years ago who had never had a drug plan. She was 75 years old. She got a bunch of illnesses in the middle of one year. And she couldn't get on a drug plan then because you can't get on until the annual enrollment period unless you have special circumstances, you know, like you have Medicaid or what is called the low-income subsidy. Now, the thresholds for the low-income subsidy income-wise are much higher. Medicaid is a state program that seniors apply for, and the low-income subsidy or extra help is something that's applied for directly with Social Security. It's a very easy process. It's based on, it's based on your income. So if anyone has an income where they're somewhere two thousand or so dollars a month or below, I recommend applying for the low-income subsidy. If you're a little lower than that, you should apply for Medicaid. There are lots of extra things to uh, to help our seniors to make sure they have their medical care. Um, they have their medical care taken care of. So that 10% penalty for not, say, having that plan in place is based on that current cost that it would be per month 
for a yeah. plan. Well, the the ten percent is it's it's the Part B premium, mm -hmm. uh, which is right now one hundred and sixty four ninety a month. So they would pay after twenty four months without Part B or credible coverage, they would pay ten percent more. Uh, they would pay ten percent more a month. And what we're going to talk about in the second half hour is are the types of plans that you can have along with your Medicare to make sure you are taken care of. Um, and also talk about how how these plans fit with Medicare and the different options. And I tell you, one thing that I run into a lot is I run into a lot of people who are over 65 still working and still on their group health plan. And 99% of the time, for everybody listening, that is a very bad idea. Why? Um, because, A, you're costing your company a lot of money. People that age, generally they're paying you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a year for premiums. Versus with Medicare, you can pay one sixty four ninety a month on the Medicare premium. You can get into what's called a Medicare Advantage plan, which the coverages are very similar to group plans, except without the huge deductibles. And you can get into those plans for between zero and about twenty five bucks a month, versus a thousand fifteen hundred dollars a month that the companies are paying. If someone gets into a Medicare supplement plan. They're looking at about 150 a month in addition to the 164.90, but they're looking at not having copays, not having stuff that they would have with their uh, with their their group plan. It just people just they're on the group plan, they stay on it. We we talk to a lot of companies. I go in and do what are called Medicare 101s at companies. Um, companies by law are not allowed to push somebody off. A, uh, off a group plan when they turn 65, but they are allowed to bring a Medicare professional in to sit down and talk to them about it. And I've done a lot of that, and we've we've enrolled a lot of people that way because they're getting better coverage for a lot less money. Because and they've already been paying for the Medicare Part A their whole lives. And we we run into people where they they just plain didn't know they've gotten bad advice. Oh, they're on they work for a company with five people. I'm on a group plan. I didn't need the Medicare. Well, actually, if they're less than 20 employees, you did need the Medicare. And and there there are other exceptions. Veterans insurance. If you if you go to VA, that is that's an exception to Part D for the drug coverage. That is not an exception for Medicare Part B. So veterans should sign up, and most veterans do because VA explains it to them, sign up for Medicare Part B right away. Um, other people that don't need uh, Part D include federal retirees. They have to be on Part B, but they do not have to have a drug plan because they have credible drug coverage through their federal retiree plans like Blue Cross. Veterans with TRICARE, uh, UAW, uh, United Auto Workers, old GM employees, they don't have to have a drug plan. They make them sign up for A and B because the these re retiree plans, they want Medicare covering first. They want Medicare A and B covering, and then they pick up the difference. So they make anybody who's on their retiree plans also have Medicare A and B, but their drugs are all covered through the uh, through those plans. You mentioned certain monthly fees for each of those different parts, whether it's Part A, Part B. So if I come in and I sit down and I'm about to turn 65 and I'm looking at all of those options, do, do we kind of lay down, okay, I'm doing Part A, Part B, I definitely need Part D, I don't know about some of the other parts, and then all of that adds up and here's what my cost will be per month? Well, exactly. Well, and we also, we lay it out even farther than that. Part A, as long as you have 40 quarters of work in America, you get Part A at no cost. Part B this year is 164.90. Then there's what is called Part C, which is Medicare Advantage. You would pay a plan premium or no plan premium, depending, depending on the plan. A lot of them are zero premium plans. Then we have the Part D drug plan, uh, where you pay a premium for that. And then there's what is called Medicare Supplement, which you could also get. You can't get a supplement and an advantage together, but when you get a Medicare Supplement, you also have to purchase a drug plan alongside of it. But there, there are a lot of costs, but one of the big costs that we go through is when we're analyzing, we are entering all of your drugs into a system. We're entering in what pharmacy do you use and all of your drugs, and our system kicks back and says, okay, on this particular plan, you're going to pay X amount of money a year. And with the Medicare Advantage and the drug plan, that includes the premium for the year and the cost of co-pays for all of those drugs. So you know up front, if you keep yeah. those drugs, you know what you're going to pay every month the entire year. It's math. It's math. I mean, it's it's just math. And we also, I mean, of course, run your doctors to make sure your doctors are in the networks. 
but I mean, it's it's important. It's 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 a lot of it's a lot of work, and it's it's very daunting. We call it the Medicare maze. It's daunting to people, but we're here to help. Hold on, John. We'll be back with more with Jonathan Bodwell, Michelle Terwilliger, who we promise we'll let her talk in the next half hour. <laughs> in studio with the Hall of Fame, Matt Miller, Johnny the Bod, John Bodwell. Yes, sir. And Michelle Terwilliger, whose uh, son kicked for Martinsburg not that long ago, and is doing what now, Michelle? He is actually at Gannon University. He's redshirting, but he has been able to dress the last two games, and it looks like it possibly could be the rest of this year. That's awesome. As backup yes. kicker. So yeah. it's been really great. How's he like in college? I think he really likes the football. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, and the girls. Don't forget the okay, girls. And the girls. And the Lake Erie and, winters. Uh, yeah, we actually went up this weekend and bought him a coat. Yeah. And some boots. It so, gets uh, <laughs> cold up there and snowy quick when it happens. It's true. Yeah. Definitely on the he, lake. He effect. does he does a lot of fishing. He's done a lot of fishing since he got up there. Well, there's yeah. a big body of water right you, next yeah. to him. You guys need mm-hmm. to buy him a a saw of some kind so he can keep fishing through the winter. A little he's, ice fishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's definitely connected with some of the players and I think they're going to do some ice fishing this yeah, winter, buddy. so it'll be fun. Well, you got a uh, good four Five months of frozen lake yeah. <laughs> to choose from. So to, I, I would I would recommend some uh, some antifreeze if you know what I mean. If he's going to go ice fishing, mm, we might have to look into that. Definitely. I think you don't mean the car antifreeze. <laughs> what no. I tell here. All right. So uh, questions. You can post your questions uh, during this uh, second half hour on our uh, Facebook page and. Uh, uh, before we get to our first one, I know Michelle wanted to talk about some of the community involvement that you do at Bodwell Insurance Solutions. Michelle? Absolutely. So we actually were just at the rescue mission last week. Um, it is it is so heartwarming to be able to go in and offer people um, benefits that they may not even know that they're entitled to anywhere that you go, um, you know, such as hearing, dental eyewear, extra healthy food benefits, just all of those things that that people are not even aware of. Um, Working with the veterans, the saddest thing is is seeing a veteran struggle. Um, And so for us, we we really want to help them. And the best way to do that is, is if anybody out there has a veteran that is in need of things, you know, whether it be that they're trying to choose healthy foods or their utilities getting paid. I mean, there are plans out there that we can help them with for their Medicare. Um, you know, so just reach out to us. Let us know what we can do to help. We um, love going into the senior centers. We love going into the apartment complexes. We do Medicare bingo, um, paint and sips, all kinds of fun stuff. I think we're going to come up with a silent auction kind of um, event coming up soon. And just just really great community things that educate while we're doing it. Because the most important thing is, is like if you listen to Jonathan the first half hour, it is so stressful. There are so many moving parts, like you said, Matt. It, um, you know, just so many pieces of it that go together that I would not want to have to sit down in front of a computer. And some of, some of our seniors still have flip phones. My mom just went back to a flip phone. She doesn't like the phone. You know, so, I mean, a lot of people are not on the computers. They're not ready to to know what they need. Mm -hmm. And I think that they're missing so many benefits that that they need to know about. So we want to go out there and educate them. How do they get in touch with you to know what your schedule is like there, Michelle? Um, You can certainly call my cell phone as well. It's 304-731-0062. Jonathan's number, 304-283-0864. You can go on our Facebook, Bodwell Insurance Solutions page. Please reach out to us. Uh, You know, it makes such a difference to be able to tell somebody that they can get, you know, up to $125 in healthy food benefits, especially if they're struggling between medication and food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we can help as many people out there as possible. First well, question. Oh, good. No. I was going to say, just going going to veterans. Just touching on veterans for a minute. Veterans, most most veterans have Part A and Part B of Medicare. There are plans for veterans where veterans think oh, I'm covered. I have VA. If a veteran strictly goes to VA, there are plans for them through the insurance carriers. A lot of which will give them back money on their Social Security uh, through what's called a Part B give back. They'll give them dental, vision, hearing. They'll give them a lot of extra benefits at no cost to them for veterans. 
Um, and you had a question during the break. You were asking me a little bit about TRICARE. Yes, we got a question from William Whittington on our Facebook page. What is his opinion of TRICARE for uh, – can see that word. There you go. For life as a supplemental plan to Medicare. Uh, TRICARE for life. Firstly, anybody who has it, thank you very much for your service. Um, and thank all the veterans because we wouldn't be here without them. TRICARE for life is is great. I mean, you, you earned it. Uh, there are Medicare plans uh, actually designed. Uh, Humana is the provider east of the Mississippi for TRICARE. There are Medicare plans designed specifically for veterans Uh, that go alongside of TRICARE and give veterans a lot of extra benefits at no cost to them, okay? Um, And those plans, Humana has a plan for veterans. United Healthcare has a plan for veterans. Aetna has a plan for veterans. These are plans designed to go next to TRICARE or to aid veterans uh, who have just VA coverage. And we would encourage you to, uh, we would encourage you please to, to call us. I would love to. I would love to go through plans with with veterans. I mean, I would love to sit down with groups of veterans. Three zero four two eight three zero eight six four. One of my favorite things to do is to sit down with a veteran and say, "Hey, you've got Tricare. You go to VA. You're paying for Medicare. Let me show you a way we can we can maximize what you're getting out of Medicare at no cost to you, and it may even cut down your costs." I mean, that that's just that's that's a great feeling. We we love helping our Medicare beneficiaries. Next question for you, Jonathan and Michelle, is what do you charge people to sign up? What fees do you charge for these meetings? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. (laughs) No cost, no charge. The insurance companies pay us. And what I was saying before is whether you get a plan through us or right from the insurance company or an 800 number, you get the exact same plan at the exact same cost. But when you call us, you get us. You get us helping you get, uh, you get us. You have a question. You have a concern. You have a billing issue. You have just a question about your Medicare or what your plan does or how Medicare works. You call us. Um, so, no, we, do, we, don't charge, we don't charge a penny. We can't charge a penny. We wouldn't charge a penny. Very good. Uh, if you are 65 and don't sign up for Medicare, what happens? Um, well, the guillotine is no longer around. Uh, <laughs> no, if you don't sign up for Medicare when you turn 65, um, you better have credible coverage. Um, you cannot sign if you are an employer coverage. You cannot sign up for Medicare when you're 65. There's only one reason not to. If you're still working and you choose your group plan, you cannot be on a Medicare plan and also have what's called a health a health an HSA or an HRA. You can't um, you can't have a health savings account while you're on Medicare. That would be the only reason to part, to put off Part A while you're staying on your group plan. Um, so if you're still on private insurance, you don't have to sign up for Medicare, or do you have to register in any way at you 65? Don't ha- if you're still on a group health plan with 20 or more employees on the company, you don't have to, but you should. If you're not getting, if your company's not paying for a health savings account for you, or you're not contributing to one because you can't do that and be on Medicare, you need to apply for Medicare A. You have been paying for Medicare A your whole life. If you are hospitalized normally under your group plan, you're going to have big deductibles and a lot of bills. If you have Medicare Part A that you've already paid for, you're getting it at no charge, and you keep your group plan, when you're hospitalized, Part A between Part A and your group plan, you're not going to pay much at all. So that's something you should have. But if you are past 65 and you are on a group plan, you should do everything you can to try to reach out and try to get on Medicare because unless your company is paying the entire premium and the deductible and maximum out of pocket are basically, you know, a couple thousand dollars and you're not paying premium, you should get on Medicare because if you get sick, you're going to end up paying less and you're going to pay less in premium and you're going to save your company some money. And who knows, you may be able to go to the company and say, hey, you're not paying for this, this $10,000 a year for my health insurance anymore. Can we split it? Can I have a, can I have a $5,000 raise? And that was, of course, for the workers, not the business owners. Don't want to. I don't want to don't offend either side, Mr. Hornby. That was that was for the that was for the proletariat, not the bourgeoisie. Um, but no, it, it's very important. Med- Medicare is something the government does really, really well. Um, it's also what we were talking about when, when you call in to, to Social Security to register. If you call the eight hundred number, you'll hold for a couple hours. 
I will tell you, if you call into Medicare itself with questions for Medicare, you hold for five minutes. I mean, they can't answer plan questions, but if you have issues with actual Medicare, it is the one thing in the government where they answer the phone right away. If you lose your Medicare card, you can call them. They can send you a new Medicare card. I mean, and we do that a lot for people. We do a lot of three-way calls to, uh, to Medicare. Jonathan, uh, Medicare is projected to run out of money in the next couple of years. How will that affect the people who are on Medicare? My prediction is the government will continue to fund it. Um, they have to. I mean, it's, it's something that's been promised to people. It's not, a, um, it's not a giveaway. It's something people have been paying into their whole lives. Just like Social Security is not a, is not a giveaway. It's something people have been paying into. There's no way to not have a. Uh, there's no way to not have a health plan for seniors. It just it wouldn't work. I mean, it would it would a a it would really hurt the seniors, but b it would cripple our economy. Because I mean, I don't know what part of the the gross national product healthcare is, but I can tell you a gigantic portion of healthcare costs are the over sixty five community. I mean, just naturally, as we get older, we have more medical issues. Um, the, the amount of lobbying that would occur to keep that from happening would be uh, would be unseen in, in modern times. Matt Miller. Of course, that money that we've been paying in is in a lockbox, right? So Lock, that it's Al Gore's it's, it's going to be there and well, it's, it's right ready, next to the, the Social Security so. Trust Fund that they haven't touched. Yes. Hey, let's go back to uh, to the Medicare Advantage versus Supplement programs what's okay. the difference okay Medicare Advantage works like regular health insurance uh, you have some co-pays you have some co-insurance Medicare Advantage plans also usually include dental vision hearing an over-the-counter benefit where you can get you know cold medicine vitamins stuff like that Medicare Advantage plans also have a maximum out of pocket on them you know ranging anywhere from about five to eight thousand a year with regular medicare you have no maximum out of pocket if you have a couple of catastrophic illnesses you could spend tens of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. this gives you a maximum out of pocket um on the medicare supplement side excuse me on the medicare advantage side you don't pay a lot of premium you generally pay between zero and about 25 30 bucks a month in premium mm -hmm. Medicare supplement, when you turn 65, you're paying about 125 a month. It goes up every year as you get older. When you're in your 70s, I've seen people paying as much as $300 a month for their Medicare supplement plans. In addition to that, you are also paying for a drug plan, anywhere between about $10 and $75 a month. People say, well, that's great. I want the $10 plan. Well, the way we do it is we put all your drugs in, and it tells us what your actual cost is going to be. Because somebody, if you're not taking anything, the low-cost plan is probably the best. But if you are taking a lot, many times the more expensive plans end up saving you money. And, John, the thing to remember is you can't in mid-season, middle of the year, change plans. You have to wait till the next open enrollment you season. You have to wait on drug plans and advantage. You have to wait. Medicare supplement, you can change your supplement plan anytime, but you have a window of three months before you turn 65, the month you turn 65, and three months after you turn 65 to go into a Medicare supplement plan with no medical questions. After that, you have to you have medical questions to get into a supplement. Now, if you are on a supplement, do the math. I mean, I've seen people where the beginning supplements with the supplement, the drug plan, you're probably paying eighteen hundred to about twenty two hundred a year in addition to your Medicare premium. Whereas on an Advantage plan, you may be paying zero a year. If you get sick, you will pay copays. If you do not get sick you end up saving a lot of money. And, and this is the point in all appointments. Michelle didn't bring the bag where we break out the bag. Come on, Michelle. And, no, and no, I, no, get, no. I get the crystal ball out, and we rub the crystal ball to see how your health is going to be going forward. Because people ask me, what's better for me, Medicare Advantage or supplement? If you are healthier than the average bear, you will save a lot of money on Medicare Advantage. If you are of average health, you will save money on Medicare Advantage. If you are catastrophically ill regularly, you will spend more money on Advantage than you do on Supplement. Supplement plans do not include dental, vision, hearing. They don't include over-the-counter. I mean, vision-wise, they, they'll include, you know, medical stuff, macular degeneration, cataracts. That's medical. That's covered. Um, but they don't have dental. They, there are a lot of things that you then have to purchase separately with a Medicare supplement plan. Currently, about 50% of people going on Medicare are going on Advantage plans. I get a lot of people saying, oh, Medicare Advantage, it's horrible. My next-door neighbor's brother's cousin's person he used to work with 10 years ago said it was bad. 
Well, Medicare Advantage plans were not very good 10 years ago. Five years ago, they weren't great. Now they've, they've made a lot of improvements because the government really wants people in them. One of the big difference, other big difference between Supplement and Advantage, Medicare Supplement has no networks. If you have Medicare, if a doctor takes Medicare, they have to take your supplement by law anywhere in the country. Medicare Advantage plans have networks. The great thing about a network is there are bad doctors. When a doctor becomes a doctor, they are a doctor for life unless they do something super egregious. But the Medicare Advantage plans, they're vetting them, they're re-vetting them. A little bit more, little bit more insight into what a, what a doctor is doing. And also people say, well, what if I go away? I won't be able to see a doctor. Well, quite frankly, when I, Matt, how long does it take when you call your doctor to get in and see him? I don't even have a doctor. Well, it's, it's, I <laughs> mean, it's, see him anymore. it's, it's <laughs> too, it can it, take two months. It, yeah, it can take a while. You think if you're traveling and you call somebody who's not your doctor, they're going to see you? No. You're going to go to an urgent care. You're going to go to a, you're going to go to an emergency room, both of which are fully covered under Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement. Um, they're, they're really, our job, our job is to educate people. Um, there are plans also that I just wanted to address just really quickly called dual health plans for people with Medicare and Medicaid that give people a lot of extra benefits. Okay. I mean, dental, vision, hearing, over the counter. Some of them have healthy food plans. I mean, those, those plans for our seniors who are really the most in need. And we do a lot of work, um, with those people because they need to be educated. They need to know the benefits they're entitled to. All right. So all of our working lives, we figure a health plan that is based on our family as a whole. But I'm getting the sense in this way, at the, the end of my life, you know, my family is, my kids are grown, you know, it, it's, it's my wife and I now in the home, that we may have two totally separate plans under Medicare because of health differentials between the two of us. Great question. Yes, you you most likely will. Okay. I mean, there there are we run people's doctors and meds. I mean, everybody's meds are different. Doctors are different. Different plans. Different Medicare Advantage plans cover different doctors. Different Medicare Advantage plans cover different drugs. Have different drugs in their formularies. Cover different drugs. It's very rare, and you don't get a discount. Um, on the drug side or Medicare Advantage side, you do not get a discount for having the same plan as your spouse. Some of the Medicare supplement plans give a discount if you have you and your spouse are on the same the Medicare supplement with the same company. Um, but yeah, but it I mean I and I have a couple see we want the same plan, and I'm like oh are you guys on the exact same medications and it go to the exact same doctors? They're like well no. I'm like, well, then it, may, it probably won't be suitable for you to be on the same plan. We want to put you on the plan that, that covers your health the best. Well, that's what we were used to our whole lives, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. We're on the same plan. Well, mm -hmm. and, and Medicare Advantage works a lot like your, your group health that you've had your whole lives, except without the big deductibles and without the premium, without the big premium. I mean, Medicare Advantage premiums, literally, you'll pay between zero and about 30 bucks a month for a Medicare Advantage plan. And people ask me, hey, how do they do that? It's too good to be true. They're giving me this dental coverage. They're giving me this over-the-counter. They're giving me this. Well, that's really easy. A, they even want the over-the-counter. They want you to take your vitamins. They want you to go to the dentist. A lot of diseases are caught by a dentist. A lot of diseases are caught by the eye doctor. They want you to have a gym membership. A lot of plans have a gym membership. They're not doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. They're doing this because every single one of those things is designed to make you healthier. If you are healthier, you have less emergency room visits, you have less hospital stays, and their bottom line is better. The great thing about Medicare Advantage plans that I always like to tell people is you're on the same team. The insurance company wants you healthier, and you want you healthier. Everybody wants you healthier. Medicare supplement just pays. They don't have they don't have any idea about your health. They don't do anything with it, which is fine. I mean, I do a lot of Medicare supplement. I do a lot of Medicare Advantage. Medicare supplement. The government gets billed. The supplement picks up the difference. The government gets billed. The supplement picks up the difference. Medicare Advantage goes to the insurance company, and they say, "Whoa, this guy has you know unchecked diabetes. This person has this. This person has that. Let's get a care coordinator on this. Let's get a specialist on this who calls them and say hey, says, hey." Can we help you? Do you need do you need dietary counseling? Do you need this? You need that. It's all about I mean it is I mean it's all about making people healthier and the Medicare Advantage plans and the drug plans get rated by the federal government. 
There's star ratings from one to five based on a lot of different categories. So they are really encouraged to get their people to utilize the benefits on the plans mm -hmm. and to make sure they are as healthy as possible and they're as happy as possible. John, we've heard so much in the last six months about the changes to Medicare and allowing uh, companies to compete uh, in regards to the drug uh, prices and, and such. Is that something that people will actually notice when they go to select a drug plan this year? Well, I mean, the one thing people will notice is a couple of years ago they passed the, the bill where every plan has, a, has um, insulin at $35 on it. It's not every insulin, but there are insulins on every plan at $35. Um, I think part of what's going on is with that making a maximum out of pocket for, for drugs, which was not there, and the donut hole is on every Medicare drug plan. The, the rules for Medicare drug plans are the same. The formularies are different, the co-pays are different, but the overall rules are the same. And that new rule of making a $2,500 max that you max out of pocket that you can pay in a year for drugs as of 25, a lot of that is they're going to do a lot of negotiating. I mean, they're really, they're making it where they can negotiate with more different types of drugs. And I think in the future, it'll be a lot. That it'll, there'll be a lot more and it'll, they'll bring the drug, they'll bring the cost down that way, which they should. I mean, I don't see why both parties haven't been all over this. I mean, basically right now, a senior cannot use a coupon alongside their drug plan, their Medicare plan. Mm -hmm. Now, you can take a drug out of Medicare. You can tell your pharmacist, hey, I don't want to pay for this with Medicare. I'm just going to pay cash for this drug. And they can pull that drug out, and then you can use a, uh, a coupon service. You can use like a good RX or something like that, or your pharmacist can search. Um, one thing, I'll, two things I tell people, and I want to make sure to get this out there. Um, only use one pharmacy. You use one, more than one pharmacy. It's all supposed to show up in a computer system, but if you've ever paid cash for a drug, it may not. Your chances of a bad drug interaction go up like crazy if you're not just using one pharmacy. And number two, anytime you get a new drug, go to your pharmacist and say, what tier is this? Is this an expensive drug? Because as we all know, the drug reps, they're in there with your doctors every day trying to get them to to, to give you the newest, latest, greatest prescription, it may be better, it may be that, it may be just a, maybe not much better, but just cost a lot more. So make sure you talk to your pharmacist anytime you get a new job. And just make sure that you get your plan reviewed every year. We do no charge reviews. If you've gotten a plan, you know, over the Internet or from an agent you've never heard from again, please reach out to us, Bodwell Insurance Solutions, through our website, through our Facebook page. Call my cell phone, 304-283-0864. Um, we will sit down with you. We will go through plans. We have not only Michelle and myself, but we have, we have a few more agents here in the area who are licensed professionals who really, who really care. Um, who we, can, we can go through. If, if you haven't had your drug plan or you haven't had your Medicare Advantage plan reviewed in a few years, you need to do it. We had someone... I just ran their drugs yesterday for them. We can't sign people up on new plans till the 15th, but as of the 1st, we're allowed to talk to them about plans. I just reviewed somebody's drug plan yesterday who hadn't, hadn't had their drug plan reviewed in about four years, and we're going to move them into a drug plan that's going to save them $800 a year because the drugs they were on were not covered as well by their current plan. So please reach out to us. We would love to review you mentioned someone not having it reviewed in four years. Does that mean that it just, during the open enrollment time, it automatically moves from you know, year it, to year? It automatically moves from year to year. And with Medicare Advantage plans, there are some older Medicare Advantage plans by carriers that had higher premiums and not as many benefits, where they brought in new plans since then, mm -hmm. but they've kept people on the older plans. And they haven't, the people have not moved. The people have not talked to their agent or the people have not reached out to an agent to talk to someone to make changes. So even if your life circumstances maybe haven't changed between age 67 and 68, when you're turning 68, you should still give you should. your office a call, sit down, and go through everything to see what changes may still be made. Most definitely, because okay. the plans change every year. And especially on the Medicare Advantage side, I mean, I have people who are in, I, I've run into people who are in Medicare supplement plans where they're, between their drug plan and their, and their Medicare supplement, they're paying $300 a month. They're paying $3,600 a year whether they get sick or not. 
we can put them in into a plan where they have a maximum out of pocket that's probably a little bit higher than that, but they're also getting dental, vision, hearing over the counter. Mm -hmm. And if they don't get sick, they're not putting that $3,600 out. And I'm not saying that's for everyone, but it is for everyone to sit down with a professional like us and have a review done and have an education session where we do a Medicare 101 and we explain everything and we go line by line through the plans and make sure they understand. John, good hour, man. Thank you. Um, you stick around for the next hour. Most definitely. 304-283-0864, Bodwell Insurance Solutions. Michelle? Thank you, Bob. 304-731-0062. Call. We'll get you an appointment set up. We'll come and see you. We'll meet you right at your house or at a diner or wherever works for you. Good to see you again. Thank you.